Thanks, Chrissy. It's been 27 years since Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman were found stabbed to death in Los Angeles, California. And now an investigation is underway within the Los Angeles Police Department following the discovery of a small knife supposedly found near O.J. Simpson's former home. The knife is undergoing tests to see if it's connected to the murders of Simpson's ex-wife and her friend. NBC's Chris Pallone reports for us. Los Angeles police say a small knife is being tested to see if it's connected to the murders of O.J. Simpson's former wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. They are going to study it and examine it for, for all forensics. Police confirmed the story, first reported by celebrity gossip website TMZ, that a former LAPD traffic cop recently turned the knife over to detectives. Officials say that officer claims he was working off-duty on a movie shoot near Simpson's former home 12 years ago when a construction worker gave him the knife. He claimed that uh, an individual who claimed to be a construction worker uh, provided him with this knife, claiming that it was found on the property. Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of A jury acquitted Simpson of all charges in 1995. Since then, the case has remained open. The murder weapon has never been found, and investigators are treating this discovery with skepticism. We need to, one, first of all, determine, is this, is this evidence? And if it's not evidence, how do we prove one way or another that it's not? And the only way we could do that is by being able to challenge the people involved as to what the, where it was recovered, how long it was, where it was alleged to have been, uh, et cetera. O.J. Simpson is currently in prison for an unrelated conviction. Under the Constitution, he cannot be retried for the murders, regardless of whether the knife is indeed connected to the case. Chris Pallone, NBC News, New York.